Hey family, how's it going? This is Gerald uh, with House Flipping Guide and I'm going to go ahead and do a quick video um, and this is in response to a question that I have received over a period of time and that question is, uh, hey Gerald, uh, how do I how do I go about attracting private money for my real estate investing deals? In other words, um, this video is about private money for real estate investing. And so um, lots of times um, you all are going to come across some very attractive deals, right? Deals that uh, are 50 cents on a dollar, 40 cents on a dollar, 30 cents on a dollar. However, many of these deals you're going to need funding uh, in order to go ahead and pull this thing off in other words let's say, let's say for instance you have a property and that property in fixed up condition is worth one hundred and fifty thousand dollars now the owner can go ahead and sell you that property for forty five thousand dollars great phenomenal deal has a ton of equity in it however um, let's assume that that property needs 40 grand in work and so you go ahead you take it upon yourself uh, to find funding or private lending for this particular property uh, one of the main things investors do is they will go ahead and go to Google and type in uh, private money uh, for real estate investing or private money for my real estate investing deal. And that can be an okay way, but what's going to pop up, guys, oftentimes when you guys do these researches really are not private money lenders. Uh, they are hard money lenders. Uh, sometimes they are construction loan lenders. They just use those keywords <laughs> to go ahead and to get you to go ahead and call them. Now, the way to go about private money is really through your local sphere of influence. One of the best ways to attract private money uh, would be your local real estate investing club. Another great way to attract private money is through family and friends, doctors, lawyers, um, could be people in the sales industry, whatever it is, whatever it is. If somebody has money that's laying around, let's say for instance, it's in a 401k or some type of investment vehicle where they would like to go ahead and pull out, pull it out, simply because you have a deal that could potentially get them a better return on investment. Um, then great, it becomes a very attractive deal. Now, let me give you additional information on that. Now, people are going to place confidence in you as you become more experienced and confident in knowing what, what it is you're doing with these deals. Now, when you have a deal that seemingly has a lot of equity and can present a very high rate of return, um, do you really understand that process? Do you understand um, the permitting process? Do you understand uh, construction and or rehab costs? Do you understand your timelines? Um, uh, does the property, is it, uh, is it going to, are you going to have any code issues? Um, these are the things that you have to as time goes on and really what i'm talking about here is are you seasoned and experienced if you can ex if you can show that uh when, within your local sphere of influence then you're going to attract endless amounts of money hundreds thousands millions of dollars being able to put together commercial deals rehab deals you know houses is just the beginning you know, it's it's those types of investments. You'd be shocked at the number of people that would come out of the woodworks to go ahead and invest in you because you have confidence 
and knowing your particular area. You know, people want to uh, know that you understand what it is you're doing. Private money, oftentimes, if not most of the times, is associated with your knowledge, confidence, and experience and knowing how to put together deals, turn around and sell them, and create a, a rate of return for everyone that is involved. So private money really is associated with confidence and experience and knowing what it is you're doing. The question I get lots of times is, hey, Gerald, do you know a, a private money lender? And private money lenders are mothers, fathers, like I said, doctors, lawyers, teachers. These are people that just, just everyday people. Anybody could be a private money lender, lots of times, who's not necessarily directly. Lots of times, uh, 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 private money lenders are not necessarily involved in real estate, but they want to get involved in this particular way because it makes sense to them. And that is phenomenal because there's so many ways that you can invest in real estate. People just talk about wholesaling. There's wholesaling. There's subject to. There's lease option. Um, there's buying and hold, there's fix and flip, and then there's getting involved uh, as a lender, which can be very profitable, which can bring you a consistent amount of income. Think about it, guys. Many of you all who are wholesaling right now that got piles of money just stored away and all you're doing is just wholesaling deals, why don't you become a lender? Why don't you lend to people in first position who have foreclosure? I first found out about that probably a little over 10 years ago, maybe 12 years ago. I remember a guy that uh, me and a young lady, we were going out at the time. I remember this gentleman was a, he was a, a, a loan officer. And what he used to do, and this is a little tip for many of you that are making piles and piles of money and you all are involved in wholesaling or fixing and flipping or subject to and you all just have piles of money just laying to the side. Well, how do you get that money to work for you? So this gentleman was a loan officer. I mean, this guy was making 30, 40, 50 grand a month. Doing incredible. What he used to do was he would go ahead and lend to people. He'd do his research first, but he would go ahead and lend to people that were in foreclosure. And he would um, place his that were in foreclosure, but he made sure that they had a very low to no mortgage, well, a very low mortgage balance. He would lend specifically to people who had just a difficult situation. I don't know if it was they had lost their job or what have you, um, but the loans that he would lend against, even though this is around a time the subprime issues that hit, the loans that he would, the houses that he would lend against, he was very, he was really strategic on lending to people who had low loan amounts. They had a ton of equity, but they just needed some help. Somehow, some way, they just got into foreclosure. I don't know if it was health. I don't know. Everybody has a different reason as to why they're in foreclosure. But he would lend money um, against people on on properties. Uh, where people had a ton of equity. And actually, think about it right now. He really couldn't place himself in first position because that mortgage, uh, that small mortgage, whatever it was, was in, was in a first position. He placed himself in a situation where if they defaulted on his loan, that he would be able to go ahead, foreclose on the property, turn around, and then sell it himself. Think about something like that, though. If you went ahead, and I hate to say it like that, you know, but... There are people that are out there that are struggling for various reasons. Um, if you lend on a property with a ton of equity and that property uh, all of a sudden goes into foreclosure and you're locked into a certain position on that property, um, that actually became a very lucrative business for him. So not only was he doing a lending, and not only was he a loan officer, but he was also doing this foreclosure niche that he had kind of he had kind of uh, uh, he had uh, perfected within his own system because he was doing extremely well after that but um, 
Guys, private money really is, there are people uh, that are out there that want to go ahead and lend money to you, but it's all based upon your confidence. It has nothing to do with your credit. It has nothing to do with your income. It has to do with your ability to put deals together, close them successfully, and then move on to the next deal. That essentially is private money. How you find them, uh, talk to people. Talk to people locally, family, friends. Talk to, talk to people. Let them know that you will give them a, a return on investment. Uh, a local real estate investment club is a perfect place to start. You know, you'd be shocked if you start having real estate investing talk to your doctor who's time poor because he spends all his time at the hospital, all of, her, all of his or her time at the hospital, and they've always wanted to invest. They just didn't know how to. Well, maybe they can go ahead and partner with you. Okay. Guys, another tip from Gerald. Uh, if y'all found value in the video, please click the like button. Also share it with family and friends. I'm going to have some uh, private money info in, in, in the description in terms of like links and stuff like that. Um, also, guys, if you need free contracts, I'll have that in a link in the description as well couple courses that I'm selling I'm gonna have all that stuff in the description okay uh, yeah yeah so you all have a great day and any more questions that you have regarding private money um, uh, private money investing and exactly how to go about doing that please leave those things uh, in the comments in the description because many of you have these these sweet deals that you have that um, you're not able to close for various for different reasons. Maybe you don't have the money or the credit or the business credit or whatever that is. You want to go private money. Um, yeah, yeah. So, hey guys, this is Gerald. Y'all have a great day. Take care.